Within that marine managed area, we have two marine protected areas. The oldest one in Jamaica being the Old Lagoon Special Fisheries Conservation Area, and we have a more a younger one, which is called the Airport Point Special Fisheries Conservation Area. Now, within next slide, please. Within the management of this general area, <coughs> as you can see, we're pretty much managing the, a coastal, the coastal area of a coastal city um, that is heavily dependent on tourism. And since tourism is the biggest contributor to our GDP, uh, it represents a significant contributor to Jamaica's welfare on our whole nationally. Next slide. No. Uh, let's press over that. So a quick uh, synopsis, the Bogue Lagoon was established in 1979, and our major issue with this is from the Google Maps image is how do we maintain uh, pretty much the integrity of our mangrove forest <coughs> of that protected area and miss the need for development. Next slide. Uh, within this one, this is our major focus is really coral reefs and miss the need for people to uh, conduct their water sports activities and their recreational activities. As this area of this um, protected area is really where most of our commercial activities happen, is where the heat strip is. All right. Is that now, how we protect these special fisheries conservation areas? We do regular monitoring and enforcement. Um, all our rangers are gazetted park rangers, game wardens, and some of us are special district constables. Is that we have a science officer, a recent officer who's coming on board to try and help us tighten up in terms of getting our benthic data, our biophysical data, and just being able to can monitor <coughs> the impact. Um, we're speaking about sustainability, and that is one way that we found that the Montego Bay Marine Park has been failing, is that we've been implementing a lot of projects, we've been doing a lot of things, but in terms of having statistical data to map that has been a little lacking, so we've been working on that together. And, um, then we have been extremely active on the outreach arm of it. Pretty much Montego Bay houses or caters to roughly about 300,000 locals and another 700,000 visitors annually, estimated, right? So in broad tax, that's 10 people trying to clean up our family. <laughs> so what we do, we've been trying to get it reached to children, and that has actually been the focus of the National Protected Areas um, Revenue Generation Project where most persons think about revenue generation and we're in the heart of the tourism city, tourism mecca in Jamaica and possibly in the Caribbean, we should reach out to tourists. But unfortunately, we are not designated as an attraction at the moment and the audience that was most readily available to us were locals, specifically children, through our existing outreach campaigns. So the major areas of assistance from the project was uh, first and foremost, a comprehensive business plan, which was uh, put together with the help of NEPO, as well as the financing income generation through merchandising and membership. 